2003 when Chile was seeing a massive shift in its politics. Amidst the protests and chaos, our lovely Emma Watson, aka Lena, lands in the country. She works as an air hostess and will be staying in Chile for a couple of days. As she and the crew head to their hotel, they come across a large group protesting in the streets. There, Lena sees her boyfriend Daniel and gets out of the car to see him. Daniel is surprised and overjoyed to see Lena. They are in a serious long-distance relationship and are happy to finally be together. Daniel then brings Lena to his apartment. Lena does a quick inspection of the house and comes across some photos taken by Daniel. Later that evening, Daniel takes Lena to a meeting of his movement. When Daniel is called on stage, he says that he came to Chile four months ago and it has become his country now. He promises to fight for the rights of the Chilean people. The next day, Lena checks out the photos taken by Daniel and compliments him on having a great eye. Later that day while preparing breakfast, Daniel gets a call from a friend, who warns him that there has been a military coup and Pinochet has taken over. So they need to vacate the flat immediately, as the soldiers are arresting all the supporters of Allende. Daniel tries to take some photographs as the two run onto the street. But one of the soldiers catches him taking the pictures and arrests Daniel and Lena. They are then taken to the stadium in the city at gunpoint. Sometime later, a man, whose face is obscured, is brought there to identify anyone who is supposedly against the new government. The man identifies Daniel, who is then dragged away into a vehicle and taken away, while Lena watches helplessly. The next day, Lena and the other dissidents are released. Worried about Daniel's safety, Lena goes to meet his friends and asks them to help her find her boyfriend. However, they refuse to help, saying that their cause is bigger than Daniel. But they inform Lena that Daniel has been taken south to a place called Colonia Dignidad, the Colony of Dignity. There Daniel is continuously being tortured by the military, who will not let him go until he reveals the names of his accomplices. Lena learns that Colonia is a dark cult, run by a man called Pius, who has the full support of the government. Desperate to save her boyfriend, Lena decides to join the cult. So she dresses plainly like a nun with a crucifix and walks across a large field to reach the colony located beyond the mountains. After arriving at the gate of the colony, Lena knocks at the gate and is greeted by a senior cult member named Gisela. Gisela lets her in and takes her to the office, where she takes away her passport and all other belongings, saying that she won't be needing them anymore. While Gisela is away, Lena comes across a crying child and tries to comfort him. But Gisela stops her and takes her to meet Pius. Pius interviews her and wants to know why she wants to join them. He notices that Lena is extremely beautiful and asks her if she has a boyfriend. Lena denies it and says that she wants to follow the way of the Lord. But Pius sees through her lies and forces her to strip. Pius sees that Lena is wearing modern clothes underneath and questions her true intention. Lena lies that she is there for him. Pius believes her and accepts her in his cult. As Lena is taken to her new room, she is informed that men, women, and children live separately in the colony. Later that night, Lena meets a woman named Dorothea, who is excited to have Lena with them. Dorothea excitedly tells her that she is going to get married soon. Just then, Gisela enters the room and hands some mysterious pills to Lena and the other women. Lena asks what it is but Gisela refuses to answer and tells her to swallow it. Meanwhile, Daniel is taken to the hospital after hours of continuous torture. The doctor says that the electric shock may have damaged his brain, and he may never be normal again. Lena begins to witness the brutal reality of the place. She is forced to work in a field all day and is beaten by Gisela mercilessly if she stops. On the ninth day, all women are ordered to come to the women's hall immediately. Lena asks Dorothea how she met her husband. Dorothea says that there is a mixed parade, where men and women are allowed to meet once in a while. When asked when she met her fiancé last time, Dorothea says three years ago, as there hasn't been any parade since. Thirty-seven days later, Daniel recovers from his injuries and plays dumb, pretending to be called Hans. He is brought back to the colony and will have to work for Pius now. Meanwhile, Lena talks with Gisela and tells her that she is happy for Dorothea, and wishes her a happy married life. Later that night, Dorothea is forcibly taken to a men's gathering. Lena follows them and learns that Dorothea's marriage plan was her secret and that marriage is prohibited in the colony. 
Pius insults Dorothea by telling her she is ugly, dirty, and unloved. Pius and the other men then brutally beat Dorothea to punish her for falling in love. Lena is helplessly watching the assault. She then sees Daniel sitting in the room and is relieved to see him alive. She wants to let Daniel know that she is there and will help him escape. So she goes to a nearby stream and swims naked, as she hopes to be taken to the men's gathering. Pius is furious at Lena and wants to punish her for defiling their water. Lena sees that Daniel isn't present at the gathering, as he is trying to escape that night. As the men are about to assault Lena, Daniel accidentally sets off an alarm, causing the men to find him. Daniel attempts to climb the fence, but gets electrocuted and is knocked out. Pius and the other men find Daniel and think that since he is a retard, he must have run into the fence. On the 130th day, Pius is making the young boys sing for him. He then directs three boys to the bathroom, where he sexually assaults them. After a couple of days, the next communal parade finally happens, where Daniel and Lena finally meet after almost six months. They agree to meet in the barn, where Lena has the night shift. So later that night, Daniel volunteers for night duty and goes to meet Lena. They embrace each other and are happy to be together again. Just then, Daniel accidentally discovers a tunnel under the barn. He goes into the tunnel and discovers the room where he was tortured. So the next day, he steals a camera and takes some photos of the tunnel and the torture room. He then gives the photos to Lena and tells her to let the world know what happened here, but Lena is not pleased by this, as these photos are the reason why they are here. Daniel also tells her the tunnel may lead them outside the fence and that they can probably escape. Just then, Ursel, Gisela's daughter comes there to help Lena peel the potatoes. She reveals that she knows about Lena and Daniel and that she was told to spy on them. She also knows that she and Daniel are planning to escape. So she requests Lena to take her with them, as she is pregnant and will be killed if she stays. Just then, Gisela comes there and discovers the photos Lena was hiding. Lena is then taken to Pius for interrogation and is in big trouble. But Daniel comes there and frames his boss by saying that he found the photos in his boss office. So Lena is dismissed and Gisela takes her back to her room. But Lena knocks out Gisela and returns to the barn with Daniel. There they meet Ursel and the three enter the tunnel. They manage to get to the other side of the fence and are happy to be finally free. But their happiness is short-lived, as Ursel steps into a trap and is killed. Meanwhile, Pius realizes that Daniel was pretending to be a retard this whole time and is intelligent. So he and the other men set out to find Daniel. Meanwhile, Daniel and Lena hitchhike to the German embassy in Santiago. There Daniel hands over the photos to the ambassador and tells him everything that happened to them. So the ambassador promises them protection and gives them new passports. But they are told that there aren't any flights till next week. Desperate to leave the country, Lena uses her contacts at the airline to book herself and Daniel onto the flight. The ambassador decides to personally escort the two to the airport saying that Pius and his men may already be looking for them everywhere. The ambassador then tells Daniel and Lena to wait for him in a room. But Lena is running out of patience and becomes suspicious. She sees through the window and sees that the embassy has brought Pius and the army to detain them. Realizing that they are locked inside the room, they break the window and escape from the room before Pius can catch them. Daniel and Lena rush to the airport and hear the final call for the flight. They see the plane some distance across the airfield and closing its door. Pius catches up to them but can't get to them because of the glass between them. Daniel and Lena steal a baggage truck to race towards the plane before Pius catches them. Lena's friend and pilot sees them and order the door to be opened. Daniel and Lena board the plane just in time, leaving Pius trapped on the steps. But just as the plane is about to depart, the army forces the airport control tower to order the plane not to take off. Lena begs her friend to understand the situation and asks him to take off immediately. Sensing the danger they are in, the pilot ignores the order from the tower and takes off. Pius sees the plane leaving and can't do anything to stop it. The credits reveal that Colonia Dignidad was a leading torture prison for the Chilean secret police. Hundreds of detainees were interrogated, killed, and buried on the grounds. In almost four years, only five cult members managed to escape. Photographs smuggled out by Daniel were published internationally, causing a major scandal. However, nothing changed in Chile. 
Pius was eventually arrested in Argentina in 2004, shortly after the end of the Pinochet regime. He was then sentenced to 33 years imprisonment and died in prison in 2010. However, neither the German embassy staff nor Pinochet was held accountable for their ties with Pius. So this was the story of Colonia. If you like the story, then do watch the full film, and if you want to watch more such movies explained, then do subscribe to our channel.